want to share with you guys a quick tip on image optimization for the web. Um, there's a great tool out there, free tool called Image Optum. Uh, you can find it at imageoptum.com for the low, low price of absolutely free. Uh, totally awesome, quick and dirty tool that you could use to process your um, images before you upload stuff to the web to really make stuff um, as optimized as possible, you know, increasing user experience, lowering bandwidth requirements, all that stuff. And right now I want to show you Image Optum in, um, in action. So I have three images over here, nothing fancy, uh, but still we have, let's see, 61K, 85K, and 108K, right? And we have them all over the place. The dimensions are listed over here. These two are almost about the same, and the Rambo's a little bit smaller. Let me take a screenshot of this. These are pre-optimized images, and um, they're optimized in the sense of their... Uh, the best dimensions they could be for my website. I have them set out to the maximum to be this uh, 689 because I have a column in my web page that uh, maxes out at that size. I could show you right here. Um, so they sort of max out at this dimension over here. But um, I want to go one step further and really strip out any unnecessary metadata um, and all that kind of fancy stuff that I don't even know what I'm talking about, but I know that is in there, um, without degrading the quality of the image at all. That's important, right? I want this file size as lean as mean as possible with the highest possible uh, image integrity as possible. So uh, here comes in Image Opti, Optum um, for, again, the great price of free. So let's see what this does. So here I go. I just fired it up. I have a place I could drag and drop my images. I'm just going to take them in here, pop them in. It just does its thing. And now look at this. It says here's the savings that it did. So it did it, I guess, um, saving blah, 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 17. Yep, yeah, it's just doing its thing, running through each file, just being patient. I guess right over here I could tell as it's working. And, okay, cool, everything's done. Now, let's just see, cut from visual, did anything change? I'm gonna refresh it. No way, like, it didn't, like I said, cosmetically, it did not change a single bit. But, let's see what the image sizes are now. Oh, look at this, so let's, see what they were originally so um, not major savings but there's still some you know your mileage may vary depending on the image that you have but look CSS 3 went from 61 to 53 the HTML sticker from 85 to 53 that was a good one Rambo not so much but it did lose seven kilobytes um, hey look if you do this uh, to a whole a ton a ton of images that you have on your site um, you could just really start shaving off that unnecessary bloat and um, these images were actually already optimized before and this was just like sort of the final thing that I've done and just to get that wee wee little bit left of um, extra goodness uh, out of this stuff now uh, Image Optum is a Windows only app. Uh, I'm sorry, Windows only, Mac only app. I don't know of a great, I don't know of the equivalent Windows version of it, but um, a quick Google search alternatives to Image Opti, I found a, a couple of options. So um, I'll leave that to you, Windows users, to check out and find something similar, but um, I'm sure there's Plenty of stuff out there for you as well, so uh, go for it. Oh, look at this. Image Optim free download for Windows 7. Enjoy your virus with this download.